Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Wednesday, puzzle day. I got a special one for you. Today we're looking at a puzzle by Yu Asaka. Yes, another Yu Asaka puzzle. This is the most difficult of all the Yu Asaka puzzles. And it only has nine pieces. It's a jigsaw puzzle with nine pieces that is probably the most difficult jigsaw puzzle in the world. But if you've seen all of his other puzzles, it's not too hard to believe. There's always some sort of twist with his puzzles. They're great, they're simple, but yet you can rack your brain over these things for weeks and weeks on end. We don't have that time, so we're gonna crush it today, hopefully. I left the link below down to some of you's other puzzles you guys can check out. Without any further ado, guys, let's get into solving it. Here we go, ice nine. So we gotta put all these pieces into here. No point, in, no point in goofing around. Let's get the timer, where's the timer? Where's the timer? Where's the timer? All right, got the timer, everything's good. Here we go. Okay. Boop. No rhyme or reason here. Let's maybe inspect the pieces a little bit. Now, this guy likes to think outside the box. I don't think that... Okay, my first assumption, because I know that this guy likes to do weird things, my first assumption is that the corner pieces are probably like this. They're not going to be like this. That's like the only thing I can gather from this, but however, doing that makes the puzzle have more sort of space, so might be counterintuitive, but I think that that's the way it should go. So let's try to find some round pieces that may fit in the corners. And it looks like that's about it. Okay, well, maybe that is not the solution. If not, this is good. Ooh, these two fit together actually quite nicely. That's a nice start. Wouldn't you say? So far, so good. Imagine if I solve this just like straight away. Ugh. Look at this. <laughs> this is actually this is actually going a lot better than I thought. Famous last words. Heh. It's called Ice Nine. Why ice though? Just because of the color, you think? Or is there some type of deeper deeper meaning here? That is pretty close. Look at that. I mean come on. Okay, not bad for a first attempt. Not bad for a first attempt, but not great. That's actually really good. That's actually really good. It's crazy because this puzzle, because like the pieces actually fit in, in really weird and satisfying ways, which is cool. Okay, let's start with an actual corner piece. Let's see if that works out. So we're here. There was what? Where was the one that fit nicely? Was it this one? No, this one? No, that's weird. That one. Ooh, that's a nice fit. It's so weird to look at these pieces because you're like, honestly not sure of anything. I'm realizing just how difficult this is because you, you have no idea what to start with. You kind of just have to go, I guess, trial and error. I think once we find two pieces that really fit well together, we should probably keep them aside. I don't know if there's anything that really would logically fit there. Not a bad fit, he says. That's nice. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's actually really close. Like, if it wasn't for that part, that would be a fit. I wonder if there's more than one solution here. Hmm. Is there any way we can play with this to make it fit somewhere else? Oh, no. Oh, maybe here. No. Oh. Hmm. That, look at that. All right, let's keep track of that. That looks really good. There's like a very minimum amount of space here, which is really great. I'm just trying out some weird stuff here. There's that whole space, right? So I like this configuration, but maybe this has to be like on the bottom. Maybe that's what we're looking at now. These two pieces seem like they belong together. No, this can't, this can't be. Okay. Uh, ice, nine, ice, why ice? All right, let's look at this logically for a second. These are like mostly built on length. We have 
these pieces, which are mostly like girthy. We have, yeah, so it's kinda, that's kinda what it's showing. So maybe without the frame, we can just look at a few pieces that might fit well together. Find a nice little balance here somewhere. These, these like, these pieces are interesting here because they're like little steps. You'd think that's the piece you want to start with, right? Uh, kind of tells me that it might not be. Yeah, so one thing is like, you don't know if you're on the right track at all at any point. So it's like, do we start over or do you start with pieces that look like they fit, but then, you know, kind of a conundrum. I just want to find a few pieces that fit perfectly because then I'll, I think, you know, that I'll be on the right path. Cause like, if I, you know, if you do things like this, like that corner here, it feels like it's a waste of space because there's nothing that's going to fill that up. Please don't tell me it's one of those things where like the middle piece is diagonal. This looks like the odd man out. This one or this one. You know, if that was like this or like this. That makes sense. Not really. Trying anything at this point. I don't know what to do. There's gotta be pieces that are just meant to be. Slowly losing my mind. Ugh. comes down to one one little piece okay so one thing that I figured out the only thing that I figured out is that it doesn't matter if you have little spaces ie spaces like uh, like that's too big of a space but like this space here for instance that's okay because at the end what we've done we can see that even though there are those spaces that that doesn't actually matter. I wonder how long it's gonna take me until I realize that the solution has nothing to do with like what I'm trying to do. You know, that's nice. Or is it? Wish I had that one Tetris piece that just, you know. Okay, obviously not. Yeah, I really thought we had something going on here. Okay, so see here, we're only missing like this little quarter piece here and that happens to be here. Uh, it's all about playing around with these and trying to get those into the right places. We're always going to have a piece missing because of how these are angled. So those need to fit. <clears throat> We're gonna try a new tactic. Maybe maybe two heads are better than one, ladies and gentlemen. This is Antoine, he's gonna help me out here. Uh, you wanna step out of the light? Just, there you go. All right, drop a piece, go for it. Oh yeah, sure that piece. Okay. Easy one. Maybe this was the wrong. This one's hard to start with because it's so easy to put. And this one should, should be the last one. I feel like yeah, we should solve the biggest problem yeah. first, right? So maybe like one of these weird ones, right? I feel like this one's gonna have to go here, but wait. There's... All right, go again. <clears throat> nope. Got denied. Nope. Nope. Uh, maybe this one. Weird. Maybe this one. No, that leaves us with a hole there. This one here. Something that we can. Well, that's weird. I wonder if that works out in the long scheme of things. <laughs> you can just, you know, that wouldn't surprise me to have a piece like that somewhere. Maybe they all have to be that, uh, that way. Uh, I, I think that would mean that the corners would all be empty and there wouldn't be enough room. Do you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. there's no piece that can 
you know, other other than if you go something like this, and then where's this weird piece? You're always left with like you know, holes. We have to make just like straight corners. Here we go. No, that can that can be. No piece are gonna fit there. We can just cut this piece. Like, see, look, there's two gaps for two slots, right? So these holes don't matter. I feel like this one needs to go here. Because that one would be the obvious choice. There? Yeah, at least. Well, it has no choice, right? Because that one, unless that one goes here. Yeah, but then you can put Nothing that one can anywhere. fit there, yeah. yeah. And this one here. But if you do that, right there. Oh, so mm. close. See, again, mm. one square. There needs to be an aha moment. I'm not getting it. This piece here is the most intriguing piece I find. Because it's the only piece that's completely symmetrical. looks like the top of a mountain. This one here. Ice on the mountain. You know what I mean? Maybe that's the meaning of it. And that's that you have to build the mountain. Okay, one thing that I've gathered that we haven't uh, sort of put together before is this. There is a circle. The whole, and this, is, this might be a stretch, but it actually might be borderline genius. <laughs> Maybe uh, we're thinking about the corners all wrong. Maybe these are the corners, somehow. Obviously not going to fit here, but, oh, what the hell? Oh. I think we're finally onto something here. Okay, let's look at which corners make sense together. For this to be a solution, everything would have to have no spaces. There would have to be zero spaces, I think, in total. What does this mean? Okay, the other the other idea I have is that maybe all the little round bubbles end up on the side somehow because if I do this, I'm not losing any space. This edge might as well be flat. Right? So maybe all the all the round sides have to line up on the corner somehow on the side somehow, but then how does the corner end up finishing? I don't know. Uh, let's look for some round pieces here. Just uh, don't judge me. But how does this end then? Do you know what I mean? And then, you know, what the heck do I do here? Ugh. I don't know what to do anymore. I've exhausted all my resources. I've tried diagonally. That doesn't seem to get me anywhere. Because if I go diagonally, there's nothing left to put in the corners. Then I'm losing a ton of space. So that can't work. So I'm still So far I really like the look of this. There's uh, not a lot of space to go around, which is really nice to see.
did it. What? Not until the last piece was in did I have any idea what was going on. Oh my God, what a surprise. Two hours, nine minutes, plus off camera, probably another hour, three hours. Oh my God, I'm so done with this puzzle. <laughs> Look at all that space left too. Tons of space left. Ugh. Yeah, I knew it. I knew, see, mm, I knew this was the outlier and I knew it had something to do with that, but I didn't think that it was the only piece that would have to be in that direction. Here was me trying to fit this in. Look at this. Look at how close this is. Like, oh, I'm just missing a square. Oh, I'm just missing a square. Oh, oh, yeah, no, bam, there it goes. Ice nine, the hardest jigsaw puzzle I've ever had to do. It's pretty wild. Ugh. Well, hot. Dang. Guys, we did it. I didn't think, I honestly didn't think I'd ever get to the end of that. I have a headache, a mild headache. Timer shows two hours. I would say probably collectively about three, because at one point I just shut off the camera and I just like sat back and fiddled around with it a few times. It was just like madness. I've kind of, I've kind of spiraled into, into a little bit of madness during that whole thing, but I'm really glad it's over. I knew, I knew that that piece had this piece here. Mm -mm. You know, it kind of looks like I looks like a devil, right? That's how I see this guy. Or maybe a mountaintop, right? Ice, get it? But this piece was the only symmetrical piece in the entire thing, which is why I knew that it had something to do with the solution. I didn't know, and I knew diagonally something was up. It's just finding that one thing, right? And uh, following your gut because, you know, going down the road of I'm gonna solve this with as least amount of space as possible, that's kind of the, opposite of what he normally has you do. You normally starting off at some weird angle or something. So really difficult because it's not your standard puzzle, not obviously not your standard puzzle piece, uh, but fun nonetheless, probably one of the funnest of the whole series. Guys, thanks for watching. I'm exhausted. Like this video if you did like it, subscribe if you're new here. We'll see you on the next video. We got a video coming up Friday, bonus for your face, and we'll see you then. Peace, rock.